channel. Today we are finally doing Mia's room tour, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. We wanted to film this when Mia, before Mia was born, but she's now officially two months old today, so we're actually going to film her room tour and hopefully it will be up soon. So come on in. Da -da -da. Okay guys, so when you first walk into Mia's room, we have this little shelf here. This is from Ikea. I will leave everything linked down below if you want to do anything similar. Um, and I'm just gonna go through a little bit of what we have going on. So we have, like I said, this is from Ikea and this mirror here is also from Ikea. This shelf is also from Ikea. Pretty much her whole room is Ikea furniture. Um, we got these little blocks at Walmart, some really cute shoes from Hey Folks that they sent over, and then some other decor. My mom actually found this at a thrift store, I believe. So I'm not sure we can get one of those, but I really wanted one to kind of display on the wall. And then I thought to hang some cute little pieces here of her clothes so that it just gives a little bit of something extra there. So this is actually a bookshelf and I just flipped it upside down. These hangers are from Amazon and then the other hangers are actually from a thrift store as well. So that's pretty much that section there. And then when you look here, we just have a little M for Mia, of course. This is actually a Cuddle and Kind doll. And then we also have some little knickknacks, so gifts that were given to her before she was born or after she was born. We have a nice picture frame with no photo in it. Um, we have lots of little toys here. So these are like the super soft ones with the sound, some rattles, all that. And she'll be starting to use those pretty soon. We got cute little shoes, some more building blocks. Um, and then I just used these bins that I had because the Ikea ones I wanted were sold out for the longest time. So I kind of just gave up and I had these already. I think they fit pretty good. So I just put them in here and I think that it's pretty cute. It just holds some of her other items that aren't really that cute to display. And then over here, we just have some teethers that we were sent, which was super nice. Some that were gifted at our baby shower. And then in this section, this is kind of like a little sentimental area. So we have a snow globe, a few dolls, um, some little animals that were gifted to her from some special people. All right, so once you walk in, you see the shelf here, and then as you move along, we have this really nice chair. I got this at a thrift store for like $30, um, and I knew I had to have it for her room, so that was kind of the piece that we started with and designed the room around it. We just threw an Ikea pillow here, um, and we kind of just put it here momentarily and we never moved it and I actually really like it here. It goes with all of like the neutral tones and everything like that. So that's what we have here. And then we just have another thrifted item which are these little tables that you'll see around her room. And those just kind of act as like little stands. So we put a few burp cloths and her sound machine there. And this hanging wall piece is from Winners. Picked it up early on in pregnancy. Again, this was one of the other focal pieces that I wanted her room, or I wanted to base her room around. So pretty much we went with the boho theme if you couldn't already tell. We did paint her room with like the raw line here. So we have the pink below and the white up top. And this was in our other video of us preparing the room for her. I originally wanted wallpaper for her room, but when we priced it out, it was ridiculously expensive. So we thought to go with this and I actually love this way more than I would of the wallpaper and it's kind of going to last her a little bit longer. She's not going to get sick of it. So moving on to this area. So if you walk in, you kind of see this initially. So this is the Ikea dresser, the hems dresser or whatever you want to call it. Um, and we switched out the handles. I got these off Amazon again. I'll link everything down below. This is a Design Dua changing pad and I really wanted this again to go with her room but I've seen it all over and I really liked it so I thought we would get one of these and um, Mia's aunties actually bought her this for her baby shower. So that's super nice and we're going to keep this obviously for all our other babies as well 
So although it was a little bit pricey, definitely worth it. We have just a little lamp that we actually added in here not too long ago, um, just for a little bit of lighting. We have this bin here with a few of our swaddles, some neutral tones, and some custom ones that we got. We have two bookshelves here, and these are also from Ikea, so it's the same one as over there, but flip the correct way. So we put all of our books in there that we thought were good for bedtime or anything like that, so we could read to her. And then we also have this little chair in the corner that I kind of just put there because we had nowhere else to put it. But I can't wait to take pictures of her in this chair and I just thought it was so cute that she had to have it when I saw it. It was one of a kind and it was from Winners, I believe. And then now for my favorite part of the room, which is her basket wall. So I've seen these all over Pinterest and I wanted to recreate it, of course. So we actually, it took us a while to find the baskets, but we finally did. And I found obviously different sizes so that it didn't look so uniform. And this sign here was actually gifted to us from the little tableau on Instagram. Super sweet of them to send this over. And I think it just made the wall a million times better. I would definitely not have been able to recreate that. So we're super thankful for that. And then below it obviously is her crib from Ikea, of course, um, and then she just has her little baby monitor, but we haven't been using this yet because she still sleeps in her bassinet in our room so far. And then over here, as we move along, is another one of those tables. So we got a few, um, some smaller, some bigger, and I just put it in the corner here as well so that we could put something on it. Um, it's pretty plain right now kind of how we wanted it because we have a lot going on already. And then this is her closet. There's a lot of stuff in here, but all of her clothes are up at the top. We have diapers, wipes, all that fun stuff, baby wraps. Um, and the baby wrap that I'm wearing is actually from Beluga Baby. I'll have that link down below as well. Super cute and Canadian, which we love. So beside the closet, we have a dream catcher. Um, and I just thought this matched the other one that we had on the other side and super neutral again And then we just have this really cute hamper that is woven Material just like the rest of the room and then finally we have the carpet So the rug and the chair were two of the first things that we got and then we kind of went from there Picking everything else and this is how it came about. I love it. I think it's perfect and again, it's something that is going to last her a while. She can grow into and grow with, so it can change with her as well. Okay, you guys, that's everything for Mia's little room tour. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Um, sorry it took so long, but you know, having a baby, definitely hard to get things done sometimes. We're getting the hang of it. So we want to get this up for you guys and that's going to be everything. I will have all of the stuff that I got linked down below. Anything that I got from Winners, HomeSense, all that, unfortunately I cannot link, but they always have that kind of style of items, so definitely check it out. And that's everything, so I hope you have an amazing day, week, month, or year. I love you, and remember to always be nice to people. Bye!